All right, ladies and gents, uh, we've got the usual suspects here. Uh, Mike Smith and uh, Barry over there in the corner. And uh, we're having a very wet and damp day over at the plateau. I think we're all of the same mind. Um, just doing your head in satin doors all the time, isn't it? And uh, Mark's having a little play around with, uh, sorry, Mike. Mark. He's a uh, different type of configuration. And Barry, that's a, that's a new brand top you got there, Barry, in it? Yeah, it's the um, green, green, Yeah, I like, I like the colour of that, mate. I think that's a lot better than the green. And, uh, well, mate, I've got a bit of cooking to do, a bit a few bits today. Uh, but I just want to build something today, so let's just, I just got straight into it. Um, I'm going to try and build a, a wooden sort of tree seat uh, using nothing but wood and a bit of paracord. And it is the old crappy paracord I'm using there. Um, as I say, it's a my little cutting station there. And uh, there's been a lot of talk about this, uh, various saws on mine. But uh, I'll just show you this one again. I've done a video of it. It's, uh, that's a Swedish saw. Um, and uh, all, all packs down into literally that long tube. This, and everything's hidden. So it's just like a... a a truncheon, um, no thicker than that. And again, uh, that's whipping through that wood at uh, a rapid rate or not. Again, everything's slightly damp over here, as you can imagine. Um, but yeah, that was uh, cost me the pricey sum of 15 quid from uh, Military Mart, and I've got to say, I'm, I'm, I'm super impressed with that. I think even that little saw impressed you, Barry, didn't it? No, you can't hear me now. <laughs> but uh, the only thing I've done with that. To tight watch style is uh, make myself a little pouch for it. Uh, so it also goes in there and uh, can either go inside the burger and down the side, plenty of attachment points there. You can even attach it to your belt if you wanted to. But literally, uh, got a few other bits in there. Anything that's long, like poles and so forth, will go in there. And I always keep a uh, hacksaw saw in there because you never know when you want to cut a bit of metal. So, uh, probably be fairly stand at the day. I want to build something. It's going to be a little seat there. Just uh, having a, a real plan with it. Bar going across, bars going to the back, and then some slats coming down. See how that goes. But a bit grub in a minute. Going around saying goodbye to everybody on the Sunday Sunday lunch time-ish. And Alan come up to me. Lousy said, uh, this is yours. So now do you know? So I just cut my neck when I walk past where you sell your hammock. <laughs> <laughs> I'd literally left it hanging there. Not part of the Right anyway, ladies and gents, I'm gonna get going. Here we see uh, Mike Smith uh, modelling the, the latest tight wood fashion. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh I managed to get hold of a little bit more of that parachute nylon silk sort of stuff. Um I might's got that dreadful orange seat which is over there. So that's been knocked up. And uh they're coming two things, either a seat which I can get more of them done and more out there and meter by one point five. And that was the last of the roll. Mike just said he wanted it a little bit longer. And as you just said there mate, you know with if you was to get your boots in there and pull up a little bit, that you could actually sleep in there at a pinch, couldn't you, mate? Yeah, you could. Yeah. I mean, I would, I would set the uh, the hammock like I would do, yeah. like a normal hammock. But I mean, at the moment, this is, no, this is uh, more than comfortable. Yeah. But uh, than like I say, the ones I've been doing, I've been hammock seats rather than hammock hammocks, if that makes sense. Uh, you had the last of the roll, so I think that was about one point, one point seven meters long, if that makes sense. By the time I turned it over. Uh, works and that uh, it's always always nice when somebody sits on one of your curations and it don't go buff and end up in their arse mate <laughs> oh yeah no that was just attaching it and that mate wasn't it because uh yeah. no, you've gone with uh you didn't have it on film though no no i always put things on film as you know mate but all i've done here um as opposed to putting paracord through and these are the one i've, I've sent them out to a few people as many you know uh, you know when you get them is i put a bit of a uh, loop um 25 millimeter webbing around here and done a bit of sewing up rather than the paracord going through there so that, that will give that bit more substance and you've got something more substantial to tie it off to and as marks sorry mike's used there is uh tree huggers which i always like to see because don't damage a tree and uh 
little carabiner. But yeah, is that, is that working there, Mark? I think that's, yeah. More than comfortable. And hopefully you won't go rip and bang on, on the floor, mate, because pant with Penny. <laughs> Sure it won't. We won't have it on film. <laughs> sure it won't. Yeah, Mark's uh, Mike, I keep calling him Mark. He's uh, just uh, having a little play about with various uh, type configurations. You up for a bit of gra ground dwelling then, mate, are you? Yeah, I think I, I tend to do that over, yeah. over winter. You do feel the cold coming through the bottom of them, though, mate, don't you? Yeah. yeah. So there's nothing you do about that apart from whack a bit of sleep mat in there and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. This is uh, Barry's new abode. Very happy with these. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> DD type and uh, uh, is that a Hornet one mate is yeah, it? Yeah, 10th one the Hornet. 10th yeah. one the Hornet and that. Yeah. See so Barry's been Barry's been shoplifting in uh, Go Outdoors. <laughs> You're not going to put your shoplifting if you get caught. Yeah, that's true, mate. <laughs> um, you're not going to. I mean, it's the first time you've had it out and that, mate. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing, and well, I've got some, mate. You see these? Just because they're aluminium, I'm not knocking the product, but I just, you know, when you push it in your burger and that, mine bent a bit and then it yeah. broke. So if they well, go. The way, the way these. The way Russ had packed it, yeah. they, rolled them out. Up, they yeah. were rolled up Dump. inside it, so yeah. it, was length, it was rolled up lengthways, so yeah. they weren't going to get bent. Because it's my fault, my fault, not knocking the product. Um, it, it sort of bent there, mate, and then when yeah. I try to slip, it's only an aluminium pole, yeah. but do you know like the um, fiberglass poles yeah. for tents? I had a I bit of one of them. I've got some from Bruce. Yeah, yeah. Um, I had a bit of that, I thought, you know, a, a six yeah. pound dome, it actually it was a Tesco value tent that she got off like one of them f um, Facebooks for sale pages for coppers. Yeah, well, and in the, the end... Tent, the, the, the tent that... The black tent. I know the one is on about, mate. I mean, I, I, I've, I've had a quick look at that. Yeah, I've had a quick look at that. But, um... No, I just thought, yeah, spank him, mate, and uh, Mike's got some, because they're just not looking at the product. If, if they do bend, you can't really bend them back, but them tent poles, I've just measured it off off one, and then just cut it off, and it was I've job done. Tent and home somewhere I can uh, nick a bit of pole Yeah, so just bear that in mind there, mate, because I thought, blimey, as you do. A lot of people just use a bit of stick out when they get out of the woods. Yeah. But not knocking the product, it is a good way, but it's just, yeah. It's just having something to, to hold that apart. So yeah. Because in fact, you know where I keep my saw, that long pouch I've got, I just drop them in there so I always know where it is. Yeah. But yeah. So yeah. is this how you're going to keep it, mate, or are you going to go down, you know, when you've got the rings? Because I've gone back to the rings, that was the first time yeah. I ever... As it, as it stands, I've sat in it and it works. Yeah. Um, I thought about putting the, putting the rings I had before yeah. in here. I might just undo some of these and put the rings in yeah but as it sits yeah. it, well, it sits so I remember you doing a famous took me 1.9 minutes to get my tarp up type of thing yeah 90 <laughs> seconds yeah, yeah. Which, is cool. which I can go if I go I back I do like I do like the old Brown, yeah, it really does nice, mate, rather yeah. than the old green, which is Especially a bit... Especially this time of year as well. Blending I think it will go much time of year, mate, yeah. as it goes, because it's neither one nor the other, you know, a brown or a green. So, you know... Hungry yeah. ridge line along Venus the top there and prussix. So they'll stay attached now, the prussix and uh, yeah. everything. You willing to say about the little thing that you're going to have to sort out about yeah, this? Yeah, I'll ring them when I get back and yeah. have a word with him, see what he says. Because we're not knocking a product, but just right. yeah, don't I'll get it, catch it. Yeah, is uh, as he's put it up for the first yeah. time. Let's have a look. There we go, peeps. Just past that. Yeah, got it now, mate. And again, there's a, about a three mil hole. Yeah, three mil hole in the tarp there. Um, Barry took some pictures of it. Right in the ridge as well. Where, where if it had been on the edge, I wouldn't have mattered too much. No, nah, you could have done it with a bit of gaffer tape, mate. No, nah, no. Nah. But no, it's brand new. First time up. So literally on that, um, we are not knocking the old um, DD. Um, but what we will do is see um, what their customer service is like. Isn't that right, Barry? Yeah, I'm going really to contact. Yeah. If I get home before time, yeah. yeah. And I think, as we know. Self, yeah. Yeah. And as we know, they, uh, they're pretty good at that, aren't they? See, you know what I mean? I've never been one for doing that, walking with a camera. You know, it can't be... I think sometimes... Right, sometimes it's, it's good to have, have that. Yeah, I mean, I like, cause I mean, I like my camera. I always, think it's, good if, I always, I always think it's good if my Keiko's not on the camera. <laughs> I've got two, mate. Well, I've got that one fixed in the end, so I've now got three cameras. But these ones are better for filming, but the other one's better for taking pictures. And ladies and gents, yeah, I'm just coming over. I want to build something today. Um, looking a bit um, shoddy at the moment, but 
There we go, it's two uprights. Paracord, the only thing I'm using is paracord. Um, that I've set, sorry, that one there is just set to you know where my knee naturally bends. And uh, the idea is to have let's get out, poles come all the way across and all the way back. So to make myself a bushcraft seat. I just want to do something today. And again, you can hear kids screaming in the background there. Um, that school's about a mile away as it goes, but that's kids being kids and that. And also see them out and about and in the playgrounds. Yeah, so it's two going up vertically. One bar going across. And uh, two going to the back. So um, work in progress. I'm going to have something to eat in a minute. So I'm Lee Marvin, starving. And uh, I'm going to see if uh, it doesn't take long at all as it goes. I just want to come out and just uh, actually build something. And that's uh, completely off. I've seen a couple of versions, and you know, when you watch a film and it was like on YouTube and it was like six months ago and you can't remember exactly how it was done. I remember seeing uh, Moscow Proper, Lars doing one, a uh, cracking little thing it was, but I um, can't remember. I think it was a little bit more simple than that, but yeah, just want to make a, a seat today and uh, each star come over, I want to try and just build something no matter what it is. But uh, yeah, 15 pound saw there, and it all packs up. Um, if I remember, I'll show you it, it all packs up into literally one of the sides. That one joins on, so it's just like a long pole, rather like a truncheon. And that was 15 quid from um, Military Mart, and it's whipping through that wood like. Um, and I'm led to believe it's a you know, Swedish Army issue. For 15 quid, that was a nice little buy. But anyway, we're just having a bit of a tea break and a uh, bit of a chin wag. And on that, ladies and gents, I'll uh, come back to you and see you later. But what I'll just do is um, the problem I have is getting to. Uh, find this material cheap enough so I can get it and bang it out you know if it's seven pound a meter then you're talking about you know it's quite expensive just to get them and bang them out but um, all I've done there is paracorded it at the end then put some 25 millimeter webbing in there just to make it a bit stronger rather than have paracord going through there Right, that's my little setup. I haven't bothered to put my chair up because I'm making one, and on that, less time filming and more time making. So, uh, take care, ladies and gents. Right, and ladies and gents, yeah, just stopping for a break and uh, having a brew. And again, use it one time the old uh, nail varnish remover in there. It's my uh, preferred little burrup kit now, Trangia burner inside of there. I can go in like a nice one. Put it across because if you put it on. The way it's designed to go on there, it just smothers the flame. <laughs> little brew in there, all ready to go. Um, just mentioning this because Mike, you've not really had a result, mate, have you? Well, no, but it could be, could be me. No, it's a. Uh, no, so <laughs> try and get in there. He's bought some from. Fucking, I've got that fucking shite on my finger. Um, nail varnish remover, but it's acetone free. But we weren't having a good result. No, in either of them, mate. It could have been my burner. burner but yeah. Oh, we'll so you see. changed over burner. I've now, changed over I? burners yeah. now. Oh, the next one, like um, yeah. yeah. But I'm using um, bioethanol fuel at the moment. Yeah. On that. It's just something I was going to look into. That's quite hard to get hold of, though, mate. I just couldn't find it. Well, I must admit, I, I walked into B and Q's once, and it, they didn't have any. And then the second time I went in there, they had a load of it. So. Yeah. I suppose I was lucky. Yeah, but just on that, and uh, that's his little homemade stove with the old nail varnish removal, because uh, good, bad and ugly, we was included, didn't we, mate? Uh, it was a bit of a, a no-go, really. For yeah, but as I say, it's, this has worked fairly well with ordinary, uh, like either meths or uh, yeah. or, um, or bioethanol, and it's normally quite good. So, mm. but, well, we'll give it a go on the other. Just try with different methods. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Not sure about that, but I'm sure we'll work out, we'll get to the bottom of it, won't we? Mm. Yeah. Right, anyway. such a, such a right ladies and gents just uh, bringing you back there for another look at the old uh, improvised seat not meant to be flash or fancy um, and here it is a little sit on it I found out rather than tying each one in there's a loop underneath underneath round coming down round there's pulling that one to that one um, so again here we have the one at the back make sure I've got that in short one at the back pulling it all the way down and around the front so it's really solid and at the back 
doesn't look very comfortable but um, you don't need to have them going all the way across because that just sits down there and uh, supports your back what's that like? I mean I've made another one I made it make it a lot quicker just cross jawed at the top and uh, like a sidebar again I think I could work out a better way of uh, actually doing that but that, that'll do and uh, must admit it's reasonably well, a lot more solid than it looks if that makes sense and uh, again I'll show you this uh, once it's uh, folded up but quite impressed with that little um, Swedish shawl from the old uh, I think it was military mart I think 15 little quid there so that's not too bad but yeah just the uh, made a bush grass seat I will sit in it and uh, cook some food because I'm having rice and curry today I'm using a, a new nesting sort of set but yeah it's uh, that's the end of the old seat. I will put a few more um, branches along the top on that. No need to do it at the moment because that's more than enough if that makes sense. Um, certainly supports your back. And when you come back, because I put it at an, at an angle, that's just the angle my back lights. And uh, when that drops off there and it drops down, that's just, you know, my feet are nicely at a 45 degree angle with a slight back. Um, and I haven't put any padding on there. We'll put some padding on there. Just a bit of insulation so I don't get a cold bum, but that's quite actually quite comfortable. Uh, to be perfect, I was quite surprised. But anyway, um, just wanted to build something today. I'm going to try and do that every time I come out. And uh, this will be improved upon and added to, but that's more than enough functional little bushcraft sheet there. Um, and it's just, uh, you know, to something that's been in my head rather than sort of anybody's design or whatever I'm, you can't really design anything or, or come up with anything anybody else hasn't done at some point but yeah no that's uh it's kind of working so i'm going to sit down and uh cook myself some brewing up food in a minute i'm in a little um play about with now is uh martin's new tent there and it's a nice lightweight tent now if you just want to sleep in it at night time perfect what Mike's trying to do is um, rig something up so he's got a Belgian poncho there um, ably assisted by Barry just to put a little look, look, like a tarp over it so it gives him a better working area admin area over the top that's uh, certainly a uh, cannon will work yeah. trying to work out how it's all done Go have a little play about with stuff ain't you So if you imagine you've got a little lightweight tent that will just fit one person, you won't get your kit in there. But these are designed for lightweight, you know, the hill walkers and all that type of stuff, rather than your bush grafters. And uh, put a tarp porch, is, is that what we'll call it, a tarp porch? Tarp porch. What this porch. is going to be, yeah, living area, admin, yeah. somewhere dry-ish. <laughs> Emphasis on the issue. <laughs> and somewhere we can have an admin area outside of it. Even so you're lying inside and you put you know you put your mess burner um, in there and uh, yeah, I see what I think Barry's sort of giving you the idea of what we're looking at. That's it. Cut up holes because uh, if one thing we are we're uh, inventive little troopers. Barry's sporting his new uh, MPT look. <laughs> My £10 special, brand spanking new they were. He <laughs> tried to charge me 15 quid. I said, you said they were going to be a ten, and that's what I paid him. Ah. Yeah. So, I've got to be honest, Baz, I'm, I'm just glad you ditched the safari look. <laughs> <laughs> My missus likes this pet. She thinks it's brilliant. What? I mean, it is less muted, admittedly, but I wouldn't call it my favourite by any stretch of the imagination. Guy lines. Couple of guy lines. How do you pronounce that then? Solista. Solista. 2000. Not a bad little tent. I think it's a bit. Guy lines or um, bug the inside bug of it, the um, bug net inside of it, and that's the um, fly sheet on the outside. That look, it gives a gives it a really bad impression, or, or a different impression to actually how small it is inside. Yeah, we ride right on down anyway. Nice one. Cut 
and half inches. No, it's not nicking it at all. <laughs> no, it's half inching. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't nick nothing unless I go and see zero pence and I'll nick everything he's got. <laughs> Sorry, Keith. How much for the poles? Four, four pound ninety-nine. Oh, that's I've not got bad. A pair out of crag offers when they first That's one thing I haven't got, like all the basher poles. Yeah, I've, I've, I've got a pair of them. I, I don't. I didn't want them for for walking uh, purposes. I just uh, really wanted them for this know. sort of yeah. thing. Well, I've, I've got. Because what I've seen people do is like reverse it, so yeah, the handles at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's yeah. got a different way of doing it. But then again, if you take the rubber bungs off, you've actually got a, 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 a sport, spike. Yeah, there. Yeah. yeah. Spiky type thing. But as I say, when free bought homes. Went into regattas and saw they'd got some poles, they were 16 quid, I thought, you know, 30 quid for a pair, that's not bad at the w top. Weren't you banned from free port? No. <laughs> no? No. <laughs> I, I, sent, I sent her up there to buy them, give her 35 quid, I said, go and get me a pair of these poles while you're shopping. She come back and said, there you go, they only charged me 16 quid for the pair, so I thought, hmm. have some of that. And then, about two years later, went into QD and Coaches, I got a pair for six quid. Hmm. With the anti-shock tip on them, which are much better which I don't use. I've got a pair of bivy poles, which I don't use. <laughs> I, ordered, I ordered one and he sent me two. So I messaged him, said, you do realise you sent me two? He said... Are they... How, how tall are they, mate? Because i got... They um, come up about... about like that. Yeah. Because, remember, um, Dave, I've still got his ones. Yeah. Um, and they come up quite tall, mate, as it goes. Enough yeah. to... Something in, in, in that, you know, that's just at your belly button height there, isn't it? Yeah. Or slightly higher. But I've seen ones that don't really do. Yeah. Well, one might come up to a metre, another one comes up to about 1.4. See, that works with an idea, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, and if you, yeah a little so you got your, bit of string at the back there, mate. If you can roll your thing up further inside, yeah. Yeah, then that works. Yeah, so there you go, ladies and gents. Didn't take too long to muck about with. And you've got a nice one off there so as well, mate, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's right. the, only, the, only, the only problem is, is obviously, sort of depending on which way, you'd want to check, obviously, the weather yeah. conditions because you'd want the rain to be coming, sort of like from yeah. anywhere from that sort Side. of arc. Yeah. You certainly but then again, wouldn't want the rain same coming. Thing at night, though, isn't it? You can just drop it down. Yeah, you could drop it down. Just drop it down so it's. Yeah. And if Everything. necessary, run a, a line underneath it, so you've almost got a tent on a tent, if that makes sense. So it'll yeah. run off that way, it'll run off that way, and run off that way. If, you, if you've rolled up your, your door and clicked it up and everything, you, you've got your rucksack in, even if you lower this down, yeah. nothing's going to get wet underneath it, is it? No. You put a little bit of ground sheet there as well, so... Yeah. No, I quite like that idea, actually. Yeah. I think mean, that'll work. He's even got somewhere to put his mobile phone, look. <laughs> oh, yeah, a bit far from there, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but then again, sorry, I just, didn't hear it ring. <laughs> Strange the things you, you think of as you I was just thinking, um, which one of you two guys would make the best father Christmas? Well, he's shaved. <laughs> yeah, I'm shaved now, so it's not me. I trimmed mine down, I've got to do it again. Barry, I, I think you're just scared of kids, mate, wouldn't you? <laughs> I'll tell you, we had a right ruck about Christmas young night, so I hate it, I really do. Right, if you're talking about domestic violence, I'm going to turn this off. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, ladies and gents, take care, because I'm starving. Films on the telly in the bedroom, I'm going to throw a brick at it. <laughs> Don't mate, don't. Because my missus does all that, you know. Um, what's that one with the the ruby slippers? Pass. Wizard of Oz. Oh, oh every every blinky year, White Christmas, every bloody year. You can turn the sound down, mate, and I could just narrate it for you. Yeah. yeah. It's just I just hate Christmas. I really do. Okay. Oh, I want to buy someone a present. I want to do it because I want to, not because you have to. Because it's bloody Christmas. Man, uh, it's just you, you and spending money. I've never got on that, have you, Barry? <laughs> no, I do know what you mean, mate, because I just think everybody's a little bit jolly for one or two days out of the year, and then the rest of the time they're miserable as sin. I just, it'd be nice if people were a little bit more jolly all the year round. Same as when you go out New Year's Eve, total strangers go, Happy New Year! Some of them even shake your hand and that, and you think, well, why are you shake my hand? Because I don't know, yeah? So you reciprocate, and I think, well, why can't people be a little bit like this all year round? Exactly, I mean, it's like I've left my um, poppy on my hat. That one that I, the yeah. Velcro one I got. Yeah. I've pinned that to the front of my um Well, you know, I, I I'm always wearing a poppy, mate. I've got a poppy lapel badge and you know, hell will freeze over before I remove that. Yeah. And if people don't like it, guess what? They don't like it and it's okay that you don't like it. Well, the only reason they got 
a right to not like it is because of what's happened in the past. Well, I'm just, I'm not going to make any sort of, you know, no. state of all that, mate. I, I, I have a popular pal badge. It is always on there, mate. And uh, if people don't like it, I'll leave it at that. They don't like it. And guess what? It's okay that people don't like it. I, I don't have to please everybody all of the time. Anyway, no, not sure, really sure where that, that, that conversation went or was going. But anyway, uh, but yeah, that's... Uh, yeah. But uh, job done on that one, Mike, I think. That'll work, mate. Yeah, and you can drop that down a little bit at night if you weren't sure which way the, the weather was coming in. It's always cue the north horizontal wind, isn't it? And the rain. I still think you're, you're bang on for Father Christmas, though, mate. You've got that jolly face, haven't you? <laughs> Take care. But there we go. Uh, here we see the uh, barry on it. That's fairly solid barry, isn't it? I mean, yeah. if it's shite, shite, same, mate. Yeah. Go and have a little bounce up and down. <laughs> so you've got plenty of support on it. Yeah. Because it don't need a, you know, a complete, like, Ladder at the back, does it? That's yeah, enough there, it, mate. You got it where you want it. I've got me pe get a bit of padding under there, and that'll do, won't it? Small your back, and yeah, yeah. what more do you want? Yeah. So you reckon that's a pass and a fail, mate? Be honest, if it's well, shite, shite. Considering you've only just swung it up this morning. Yeah. I, I, to be I, honest, I don't think it will improve on it very much. You could sit about with it, but it's basically there, What's mate. The point? Isn't it? You might ruin it. It's a pass yeah. to me, mate. Yeah. yeah that's a work. Sit on it, mate. See what you think. Yeah, come on, you warm it up a bit. Yeah. Again, you built, you know, the, the idea with them is just to get the 45 degree angle on it, mate. You know what I mean? For your feet, so yours might be slightly bigger or smaller. No, but, that's, that's, that's actually fine. And I think the back, surprisingly, it's quite, because I was going to get the knife and just, you know, shave anything off, but there's nothing digging in or so forth, mate, no, is there? No, no, get the old padding out in a second, I'll, 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 I'll cook up my food because I'm starving now. That's kind of work there, and it didn't take too long, not too hard to do either, is it? I'm not too sure on the design. I don't think I've nicked anybody's design. I might have just adapted. You know, you watch so many videos that you have an idea of what you want to do. If someone tries to claim oh. copyright on that, they've got to go back to Stone Age man. Oh no, of course it is, mate. It's, it's like it's like when you say you, you know you, you make a knife. You can't not make a knife that's not you know some way resembling something else. It's not. Oh no, it's just. Well, even if it is, if like, I'll tell you what the, the idea I got off that, and you said like it's slightly different one, so I'll have another look at it. Is uh, Lars Moscow prepper? He did a nice one, didn't he? When he was in the snow. Yeah. That's what made me think about it. I'll have a go at that. Because the one Lars does, he, he has the branches lower and then he just roses them back and then he can put his feet up so everything's off the ground and he puts his roll mat on it. And yeah. So I'll, I'll have, off, a look, I'll have a look at that then. one, yeah. I presume you intend leaving it up. Yeah. Uh, yes, mate, it's a bit of paracord. Like I say, I walk my dog, so if I'm never coming back, I'll come away and whip my paracord away and drop everything down because most of that stuff's come off the, the floor anyway, like, you know. Yeah. But, uh, it's only wood, well, like. I mean, that's been up there, what? three months, four months. Yeah, so I've, I've took that down, you yeah. know. But what I'm saying is, no one's ever been here. No, uh, but I don't mind sort of like if I'm coming back to a place, yeah. leaving, leaving the structures up, because the moment I'm not coming back, well, I, I walk my dog past here, as you know, yeah. so I'll just come up here with a knife and drop it all on the ground and throw it all about for the animals to, you know, do whatever they do and that. No, but anyway, uh, ladies and gents, that's the old seat, so that's a, a job done there. It can take us old boys, eh? <laughs> <laughs>